So what I did here is I got the airflow meter rigged up to my bench power supply set to 5 volts and my digital multimeter reading the signal out and I found the depth of 0.7 volts red on the airflow sensor and locked that on my uh, caliper and then we performed the uh, test. So the idle position injection quantity test and the results have been quite interesting, to say the least. So when uh, comparing the richest versus the leanest cylinders with the richest I've marked as 100%, um, cylinders one and three have the greatest fuel quantity, matching of course, and the leanest is oddly cylinder four, and that's a discrepancy of just over 10%. I think 10% is the maximum allowed discrepancy between cylinders. So that could well account for a lumpy idle on an M103. Um, overall, these figures are all over the place. And I'm not happy with what I'm seeing on this allegedly professionally rebuilt fuel distributor. Um, but I don't have the calibration equipment to mess around with this. The kind of precision required is utterly ridiculous and when you measure outside of the idle position um, these differences become less and less uh, and one thing worth mentioning that result is basically 100% repeatable we've done it multiple times today and I'm getting the same result every time uh, consistently that cylinder is lower than the rest and it's right on the very edge of acceptable difference so that is a problem especially in the idle position when you have such a minuscule amount of fuel being injected any uh, difference like that is going to be noticeable so i'm just printing off the uh, manual for the uh, fuel injection balance test there's some very uh, interesting figures in here and yes i have confirmed it is a 10 uh, percent difference allowed from the uh, largest amount injected to the least amount injected, uh, cylinder-wise. Um, let's get somewhere more comfortable and you can have a read of this book with me. Having these uh, handy dandy little manuals would be quite useful while working out on the cars. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and read what it's saying and not ask me for a copy of it in the process. Go ahead and pause it and read it if you want to. There's not that much there, but the gist of it is in the idle position, as we were doing, uh, run the fuel pump and you wanna see a maximum of 10% difference and the volume at the idle position should be four cubic centimeters um, after one minute duration. And you're allowed to see a difference up to 0.4 cc's. Uh, and the full throttle position should be 100 cc's after one minute. Uh, and you're allowed to see 10 cc's difference maximum, which is, yeah, 10%. So in any case, um, that absolutely proves that that distributor is out of spec and is the cause of the problem.